Hello everyone, how are you all? So well, let us start with our second uh, session of this uh, propositional logic and hardware. So we are already done with the basic operators of the propositional logic and what are the logical statement or the propositional statement, what is proposition, what is conclusion, all those things we have already covered in our first uh, uh, part. So this is our second part. So let us start with, uh, yes, uh, with this. So under this, we are mainly going to cover drawing conclusion and syllogism. So what is syllogism? The logical process of drawing the conclusion. So if you are drawing a conclusion, so the logical process to drawing the conclusion with a given proposition is called syllogism. And premises is the pro proposition which are actually responsible for what? To draw the conclusion that is called the premises. So the logical process is for the drawing of the conclusion. And to draw a conclusion, what all propositions are used are called the premises, okay. So then we have the drawing conclusion. Actually, two main methods are there which we are going to work for drawing a conclusion. We have a truth table method and we have the algebraic method. You know very well truth table is something which is in a form of a table. And the table in which you can just work with zeros and one, okay. So all things, suppose two variables or two propositions are there. So you can just define it with variable p and q and then you will give the you know uh, the possible combinations and then it will be done algebraic method is something with the help of different laws you are going to eliminate eliminate the terms okay that is also called the elimination method so one by one we are going to cover starting from truth table a small part of truth table we have covered in the previous session also so well you uh, you know uh, if you want to really check this one if you really want to understand all those things so you have to go with the previous one right okay so well we have example one here from premises it is p and p implies 2q this is the implication right infer q so it is the first proposition p1 is p second one is p implies 2q and the conclusion is q so it is p and which is dot you know uh, implies to c okay so p1 is what it is p dot p implies to q and infer is also so two terms are there better you can separate them with the help of big brackets implies to the conclusion is q okay so this is the thing we have to calculate in this truth table method so let us start filling it first we have to check the number of variables we have two variables p and q okay then the next one is it is p implies to q okay and then we have p dot p implies to q and then we have the final one. So the final one is conclusion only. I'm just writing C. Well, uh, you know very well how to fill the value 0011, 0101. P implies to Q is very basic, simple. If P is 1 and Q is 0, this is only the falsity condition. Rest everywhere, it will be 1. So we have 1 here, 0. So here it will be 0. And everywhere else it will be 1. Then you will go for end here in between P and this. So for this, you know, both of the input should be true only. 0, 1 will give you 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. But here to both of the inputs are true. So 1. And the final conclusion, it is this whole thing implies to Q. So this one whole implies to Q. So this should be 1 and here should be 0. But it is not. So that means everywhere it is 1. So yes, done. So this is the condition of tautology where all the final values are 1 and falsity condition is if all the final values are 0. Okay, so I hope you understood this one. Let us start with one more example. This is looking a little, um, you know, complex to that one, no problem. So we have the premises here, P1, starting from P1, which is P implies to Q. Then we have P2, which is Q implies to R. Okay. And then we have conclusion. Conclusion is what? It is the RP implies to R. And then we have to merge them together. And is there which is dot in between. Let me change the color. Okay. So we have P1 dot P2 implies to C. P1 is P implies to Q. Or Q implies to R. And the whole thing implies to P implies to R. This one, if you want, you can, you can put it into a bracket. So, how many variables are there? P, Q, R, P, Q, R. For three variables, you will take four zeros. 
four ones well one column is less so two zeros two one two zeros two one zero one zero one zero one zero one next is p implies two cube p implies two cube well these two with one zero will be zero one zero will be zero rest everywhere it is one fill it don't waste your time p implies two cube then q implies two r this one so one zero will give you zero uh, one zero will give you zero rest everywhere one fill it done then we have p implies two r okay p implies two r here it is p here it is r so one zero zero then one zero zero everywhere else it is one mm. then we have p implies two q and and is dot okay so let me give a name to this one two and three so this is what we have to find p dot one dot two one dot two okay so you know very well for and it both should be true then one 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 zero zero one 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 zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero one 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 okay and then we have the implication to this is two implies two three so this one suppose is four so four implies two three so well here should be one and this time one and then zero no one no one no, zero no then one zero no one so everywhere it is one tautology so everything is clear to each one of you if you have any doubt you can ask to me again no problem at all so well so in the starting itself we, i told you we are going to cover or we are going to find the designing phase with respect to two methods two table we have covered already now we are going to start with the second method that is algebraic method right so algebraic method is something um, uh, we are going to work with respect to the uh, you know the given laws so you should be clear with that in this method to draw the conclusion from the given premises conditional element is carried out so yes it's carried out so now we are starting with algebraic method in this method to draw a conclusion from the given premises conditional elimination is carrying out like if suppose you have a conditional statement something like this p implies 2q so the equivalent statement of this is p bar plus q you know very well this p bar you can write like with tilde sign also so tilde of p plus q so like that only you can replace and this will be uh, you know um, this will be uh, the called the conditional elimination so let me give you one example uh, suppose the example is something like p and p implies to q in for q okay so if you will go with this type of question then the p1 the first p my says is p then if you will go for p2 the second one is p implies to q and if you will go for conclusion so the conclusion is what conclusion is q so when how to write it down p1 dot p2 and this whole thing implies to the conclusion so now you please change it so p1 is what p1 is p and p2 is p implies to q and this whole thing in for q okay so this only we have to do it with the help of algebraic method so yeah uh, now let us start how to do you have to replace this one with p bar plus q so p p implies to q is p bar plus q and this whole implies to q now go for inside just go for multiplication p dot p bar plus p q implies to q so it is 1.0 so this is one this is the property of zero and one you can check in the rules i told you for algebraic method you should be clear with the laws so this will be zero zero plus pq is pq only pq implies two q now the same thing the conditional elimination we have to apply one more time but this time the premises is pq so the whole thing you have to give a bar here okay so i am writing it down here let me change the color so it is pq and then bar okay m plus q now this will be you know dot is there in between p dot q bar so dot to addition you will go this is de morgan's second law so it is p bar plus q bar and then q okay so it is p bar plus q plus q bar so this also q plus q bar is what it is uh, one only so one 
and then p bar plus 1 so p bar plus 1 is 1 only so you will get 1 so this one this is the method this is called what p bar plus 1 is 1 so you can check this is the property of actually 0 and 1 so you should be clear as i said this is de morgan's loop, uh, rule 2 so all these properties should be clear to you so uh, well uh, these questions you will feel more comfortable how many practical examples you will give or you will do so we can go with one more now you can see the premises are p1 is p implies to q okay and then we have p2 which is q implies to r and then we have a conclusion which is p implies to r now how to write it down it is p1 dot p2 and this whole implies to c now p1 is p implies to q and then you have q implies to r and then you have c which is p implies to r now you play, please check you remember p implies to q is p bar plus q so like that only q bar plus r and p bar plus r so go for it so first we will write the same thing only so you have written this one now you can go for what so let me write it down p bar plus q and then i'll give this one then q bar plus r and then i'll give a plus sign here or you can just go for implication as of now and this is p bar plus r okay so now you can go for the same thing only how to write it down you will give a bar here okay now i will consider this as a single term so this whole will be bar plus this one so p bar plus q and then you have q bar plus r and the whole bar okay and plus p bar plus r right this is the elimination conditional elimination only now this one you please check it here you have dot so first term second term and this this is a dot b ka whole bar so a bar plus b bar this is de morgan's law 2 okay so what you will do p bar 2 is already there so this will become p double bar dot q bar and then again you will be you know with uh, p double bar p double bar dot q bar plus again the same thing it is q double bar dot r bar okay and then we have the p bar plus r right now this is the complementarity only p double bar is becoming p only then p dot q bar okay i did it twice two things together you know here you can see this inside also and the outside both together i actually separated so then you have q here so q double bar will become q only then q dot then q dot r bar okay and then you have plus p bar plus r now you can check again you have the same thing it is p q bar and dot p and q r bar okay plus p bar plus r now you go for the same thing only you can take p bar plus p q so it is p bar plus p q bar i am just uh, you know arranging p bar i am taking with this and these two i am taking together okay so this is r bar q plus r right now you can take here only you can check it is p bar you just take it separately 1 plus q okay and here also if you want then you have um, r and r bar okay r bar uh, q plus r let me move it a little down so you have p bar here and then 1 plus q so 1 plus q is to 1 plus uh, 1 or 0 whatever it is but it will become 1 only so it is p bar plus r bar q and plus r so now when you will go for the next one so you can just distribute the terms so this will become what you can write p bar and then one that you can separate with what so i got this p bar plus uh, that q bar is also required here yeah so what i am doing now i am arranging it it is p it is p bar plus p q bar plus we have r i am taking this side r plus and then i am writing q r bar okay so now what you will do you have to use distributive law here so distribute will work how p bar with p and p bar with q bar like that only r with q and r with r bar so please go for it it is p bar plus p and in between we have dot then p bar plus q bar and then you have plus here and then r plus q and then you have r plus r bar okay so when you will check all these values p plus p bar is equal to 1 okay this is the property of 0 and 1 so here you can write 1 and then you will write p bar plus q bar 
and then we have r plus q and then we have r plus r bar which is 1 okay so what are the remaining terms it are p bar plus q bar plus r plus q so now you can arrange them together again it is p bar plus r plus q and plus q bar okay so again the same thing we have q plus q bar which will become what so q plus q bar is equal to 1 right again the property same only and then you have p bar plus r plus 1 so you can again arrange it r plus 1 is 1 only it is the property of 0 and 1 so p bar plus 1 and then again we have p bar plus 1 is the property of 0 and 1 which will give you 1 so these are the properties of 0 and 1 0 and 1 okay and this is also the same thing same thing so like that you know if you want to go for what for the algebraic proof of any of the equation then you should be clear with all the laws okay because for elimination of the statement anywhere you can use any of the law okay so that's all for this part this session thank you